so boring. I sliced my finger open like first day back. <laughs> Some recipes though, there's nothing. I don't do anything funny. I don't say anything funny. I'm just not funny. It's usually at the end of the day. I hate garlic. Like peeling garlic is probably the worst job ever. Uh, what am I gonna use? What pen am I gonna use? And the issue with me when I cook is I always touch everything when it doesn't need to be fiddled with. I'm a fiddler. Oh my god, that looks so good. Hi guys, welcome back to So Let's Cook. Today I'm gonna do one of my favorite things that are always in my pantry. It's a Szechuan chili oil. Very simple, I've got the chili flakes. This is a Szechuan chili flake, so it's quite hot, but it also gives it that beautiful red color. If you do not have that, then go to your supermarket, get the normal chili flakes, and then go to your Asian supermarket and get some Korean chili flakes, because that's where the color would come from. Um, into that, I've got some Szechuan pepper here. I've got some bay leaves, some cloves, some star anise, and um, some cassia or cinnamon bark. That's our aromats. We're gonna put some shallots into there and also some garlic. So I'll get onto that. So my shallots are peeled, my garlic's peeled. I haven't sliced them up because you don't want that whole garlic to be really wet. You want to keep it whole so it just gently cooks away. I've got a little bit of a pot here and I'm worried that it might not be deep enough, but we'll see. Into that, my garlic and my shallots go. My, what are these, bay leaves. <laughs> this cinnamon or cassia bark. Star anise, all your aromats basically go into there and then some oil. Use a vegetable, a grapeseed, or peanut oil, something neutral that won't add too much flavor. You don't need to worry too much about smoking po point for this recipe because we'll be cooking it at around 110 degrees Celsius. That way, none of your aromats will burn. That's gonna go straight on there. I'll turn it on and let it cook away for about 25 minutes. Pots on the burner. It's a new burner. We'll figure this out. Ooh. Um. <laughs> oh, there's temperatures on this. Oh, but it goes 100, 100. Let's go 120. This is a really gentle cook. What you want to do is infuse that oil with all those beautiful flavors. If you want a very traditional Szechuan chili oil, drop out the garlic, drop out the shallots, but I'm adding more flavor into this. I want the umami from it. Um, we're just gonna leave that to bubble away. They should be tiny little bubbles. And once that's done, which is like the 25 minutes, I'm gonna pour it into here over a strainer and it will cook these chili flakes. After that's done, I will also be serving it with some broccoli and tuna, which is my favorite. This sauce is so versatile. I'll use it a couple more times in other recipes as well. So hang tight. Okay, so I've got my Szechuan chili oil aromats kind of bubbling away. We're gonna leave that for another 20 minutes. While that's happening, I'm gonna prep this guy. So the broccoli. The broccoli is part of the brassica family. It loves being charred, it loves being burnt, it loves getting all black and it just makes it sweeter. So this is what I was having in MasterChef the first round for most lunches along with Chloe. We would just have some broccoli or some cauliflower, char that up, mix it through with some tuna, have it on a little bit of brown rice with a ladle of the chili oil on top. So that's the recipe I'm gonna be making for you guys today so that we can use the chili oil. Real simple, I'm just gonna basically break off the florets, char them. The core, get rid of that little dry bit at the end. That's very, very fibrous, we don't love that. This bit, I'm just gonna slice into nice steaks, kind of. Did you say steak? That'll get some nice char lines on that. You can cut it into any size that you really want. You just want nice chunky pieces of broccoli because then the insides will be really sweet. All right, that's all done. I'm gonna get another pan out, probably move this over, then char it up for you guys. So this pan, I want to get really hot. Like I've got it at 
200 degrees, gonna pop some oil in there. If you're lazy like me, what you can do is use this beautiful oil that has the aromats in it. Smells so good already. It's the um, it's the Szechuan peppercorns that you'll be smelling right now. You can't smell it. Um. <laughs> you guys will obviously be making this at home, so you'll be able to smell it. Chill. Okay, so that's about three teaspoons, maybe a tablespoon of oil. Once that gets really hot, we're going to drop in the broccoli. I will season him a little bit. It's really weird that I refer to ingredients as male and female. Lemon's a female, she's gorge. The chili oil is female, she's gorge. Broccoli is a him. So I don't use this a lot. Um, I find it really hard to control temperature in it. As you can see right now, I've got it on the lowest and it's still really bubbling and you don't want that. You want it to just gently bubble away. Cool. That's smoking, which means it's ready for the broccoli. We're just gonna go straight in, straight down. What you're doing is making beautiful char bits, the broccoli. I'm just gonna leave that to probably cook away for about a minute and a half until it gets pretty brown. If there's not enough oil, a little bit more on. This will just help caramelize the broccoli, get it all burnt. You want a black, not like completely black, but like little patches of black and little bits of brown and then a little bit of broccoli. So I think this is looking pretty good. This is what you want from your broccoli. You want it to be charred, gorge, nice even, little bits of brown, little bit darker, all good, flip it over. I'm gonna do that to all of these pieces, cook it for another three to four minutes so the other side does the same thing. Turn him off and then I can start the plating process. Hey James, do you wanna come in here for a second? See, you see how this is darkened a lot? This is the time that you'll probably wanna pull these out. You don't want it to get any darker than that because it will burn and it will make the oil bitter. So just keep an eye out if your temperature control isn't great like it is on this stove, it's horrible. Um, things will darken pretty fast and that's when you start to pull it out. The, the spices are fine, it's just more the garlic and the shallots that I'm worried about. I'm just gonna leave the garlic, that's, that looks okay. Now this is done, so I'm turning him off. How do I turn him off? I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm just gonna take him, start plating him up. Let's give that a little bit of this tuna. This isn't even sponsored, I'm just gonna talk about it. Serena chili tuna. You don't, you should not buy any other chili tuna in oil and that's gonna probably bite me in the butt one day because another brand can be like, do you wanna do some work with us? And I'll be like, cannot because I love Serena chili. Um, but it's my favorite tuna. It's absolutely delicious, really full of flavor. So yum. Premium AF. Brox. Little bit more tuna. Okay. So that's basically the dish. We just need to get the sauce ready now. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. Uh, all I'm gonna do, I'm really worried that this um, bowl might crack because I haven't used it before, but you pour the hot oil into a colander, a strainer, into the chili flakes, and it should bubble and bubble and bubble away. Now, we had it on a very low heat, and the reason for that is you don't want your chili oil to burn. You don't want the oil to burn the actual chili flakes. So you have it on a low heat, give it a nice stir. At this point, I will probably also do a little bit of seasoning. So some salt, maybe three big pinches. So that would be two teaspoons, I reckon. It smells so good. So I'm just gonna leave this to infuse for about 
it should be like half an hour or like you just keep letting it infuse but I need to plate it up so I'm gonna let it infuse for like five minutes and then I'll pour a little bit over it it's definitely split the chilies at the bottom now <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do is grab a little bit of this oil and just dress this lunch that I'm about to have with the oil if you like the chili flakes you can definitely grab some of that in there as well I love this bowl this bowl just like is so sexual because of the um, the grooves in it. All right, that's a lot of chili oil, but I like it hot. If you don't, then just add a couple of, like a teaspoon. I've probably gone a nice tablespoon there. It's really simple. I now would keep this for six months. I don't know. It keeps for a long time. It's it's oil. It's flavored oil. Um, into a nice jar. I'm gonna split this up into a couple of jars so the boys can take them home as well. Um, really versatile. I've got a guest coming on in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna get her to cook using this as well. So, see you guys then. Really simple. This is my Szechuan chili oil that I've dressed a broccoli and tuna salad with. Remember to also subscribe, comment, like, do all the things so that I can keep making things for you. See ya.